So you're probably watching the channel because you're somebody who likes to take care of your truck. This is what happens when you take care of a truck. Um, you can keep it immaculate and you can hopefully preserve it for the next generation. I know you might not be thinking about the next generation when you do maintenance to your truck, but whether it be your son, grandson, or someone else's son, this is going to keep the truck in great condition so that it can last for years uh, beyond your ownership. So that's a big part of why we want to keep uh, really good care of our trucks. This truck was oil sprayed, it was meticulously maintained um, by an individual uh, who ordered it brand new and kept it uh, in pristine shape. It's my son's truck, so I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about it. It's a 1999 and we're going to show you this sweet deal we got on it because it had 66,000 miles when we got it. It has 67,000 miles now. I've only driven to about 1,500 miles. Here, we're gonna show you the mileage. Starts right up. No lights on on the dash. 67,782. It's got factory rims. No rust on the rockers. Super clean. Really no rust anywhere. Um, Everything's factory on it. Only flaws really. A little bit of a cracked dash. Not as bad as what I've seen though on Instagram and other places. It's not too bad. It's been reinforced. So it shouldn't be a problem. But everything else on this truck is extremely clean. Clean white paint. All the badges are pristine, no cracks or fading at all. Really no fading in anywhere on this truck. Everything is still super nice. Um, but we did Cerakote it with some Cerakote wipes. As you can see, these are super like, like factory, like black. Still, it did have a little bit of fade up here, all around this. Another thing with these trucks are they are super easy to work on because of how much space there is in the motor. And this isn't going to hopefully need any work for a while, but let me take the camera. I'll show you how much space there is and how there is basically no rust anywhere in here. Just a couple places. It's not too bad. It's really only surface rust. It's a five, five two, three eighteen. Um, like I said, it is a tow package, so it has a transmission oil cooler right here and a heavy duty alternator right there. So those are some perks you have with the tow package, and uh, definitely helps out the truck's capabilities. It's been oil sprayed about just about every year of its life, so we're gonna take a look under here. absolutely beautiful just a little bit of surface rust but other than that nice oil sprayed undercoat so this truck is pretty special 
It was custom ordered by the last owner. It's a one owner truck. Unfortunately, it was an old, it, the older men, he had passed away and the family was selling it. All right, looking at the interior, it's got the original 90 seats with absolutely no wear and tear at all. They're just completely pristine. This isn't even like pushed down carpet. It's just like seems completely new. No rips in like down here in the leather. Completely fine. Um, this guy optioned it out. So it's got all of the options here, the up on the seat. It's got the back, forth, up, down, up this up. You can adjust basically everything on this seat, including, well, obviously front and back goes back and forth um, yeah everything on this truck is in the interior too is just pristine um, no stains or anything on the door right here um, all of the options and this is how the um, the mirrors work right here to move them so you change it to right or left so here's the left and then you push this back and forth if you want to see it it's got heated mirrors there it's got the fuse access right here pop the hood down here parking brake and then when you get in you have the four by floor on the floor it's got one two places to charge your phone I have a Bluetooth thing in here right now um, got your radio um, this adjusts the sound so you can make the sound in the back the front the right and the left speakers And then you can center it for everywhere um, You got your five uh, presets you have a little compartment right here where I have like a little knife Turn off the airbag for children or turn on the airbag um, You'd think that the uh, steering wheel would be cracked and all but it's I mean, I don't know if you can see it in there It's not um, I have a cover on it just so it doesn't. I want to uh, preserve the steering wheel. It's got a compartment right here where I have some chargers. It's got, it still has, I mean these work fine. It still has the cup holders and everything. They don't fall or anything. It's just this extra little piece that I bought for it here really helps just being there. Um, when you move over to here, it's got obviously the glove box. have the original owner's manual in here with service records and everything right here it's got book and the warranty information which has a little spot in the glove box right here to keep it in place um records in here the title registration everything close that back up um has automatic windows over here and another pristine seat with no tears or rips. Beautiful. Um, the headliner is just also immaculate. It's not hanging down anywhere. It's completely still up there. Fine. No, no stains or anything. Beautiful. Um, right here you have your east, northeast, southwest right here. How hot it is outside. Um, I'm, I'm assuming this is for um, either if you want sunglasses or a garage opener, you can put that in there. Um, these are definitely for sunglasses and I have my Ray-Bans up there. Um, yeah, you can adjust this for different stuff. Right there. You can just have it off, but there. Um, turning this off, you have your time there. You can change the the bass, the mid and the treble right here. AM, FM, set, scan, seek, eject. It does have a CD player, pause, play, time, all that stuff. Um, it has the bench seat right here, which flips up, but I like to keep it down as a center console. I have all my stuff in here. Uh, it's very spacious. It has spot, a spot for your coins. Um, back here it has a spot. I have just napkins, uh, 
back there, a Bass Pro card, and my other chargers for my friends. Sunglasses, places for pens and stuff if you need. this. And we'll move on to the back seat. So this just opens up. And beautiful back here too. No faded plastic, no problems. It's got the inside handle right here. I know most trucks don't have that. Um, it's got windows that pop out. So you just push that out, pops out right there. Seals fine, doesn't leak, nothing. Just pop that back in. And back here, um, this bench seat, beautiful. Doesn't have any problems with it. Just pristine. No rips or tears. And then one of my favorite features back here is the back sliding glass. So this opens up right here. You just gotta pull it out. And it opens up pretty large, large enough to where you could probably get out and get into the bed like they do in twisters. So that's gonna stay open because it's nice. And just a backlight back here. Um, there's a lot of, there's enough room back here for your friends and I have my soccer stuff back here but put that up there real quick and show you the cup holders down here which can slide in and can slide out further just pop right out you can adjust them down to the size of your cup so it doesn't move around very nice just slide that right back in um, I have a little Pond hopping tackle box back here that fits right under my seat along with a scale. And these seats do come up, so you just pull that up. And I have just some toe straps, another uh, tackle box, and um, fishing pole. And I can fit all this stuff just under the seat. Can't even see it. I mean, you put it down. Real nice. Um, I think that's about it for the interior. So we will look at something else. And here, like I was saying with the records, the original window sticker, this came to a total price of $30,000 basically back in the day. There was 7,000 worth of extras put on this truck because the base price came in about 23,000. Here we have every single service that's ever been done to this truck. We have all the records, everything telling us um, from oil changes to rotated tires, stuff like that. Um, anything he's ever bought for this, everything we've bought for this. So, so far what we've done to it is we've um, replaced the drive belt uh, and tightened it. We have um, changed all the fluids, including the... Uh, front and rear diff fluids, uh, the oil, um, all that, re replaced the filter, um, cleaned all that up, 